all aluminum, futuratrailers.com. Built to a higher standard than even a feather light. The fit and finish on this thing is off the hook. The way they did these well, rails. The spare tire doesn't even hang down. Wow. Um, let me grab my key. I've I've heard of these, but I haven't seen one in the in the flesh. If you're gonna haul some some uh, high end cars and you don't want to worry about damage them, this is a way to go. Or race cars. Futura trailers. Hashtag lowering trailer. No ramp required. All you, all you do, you can get any car on here that you want. And I, I used to own a Ford, uh, a, a GT Ford, you know, engine in the rear. It was low. And you always are running into problems, even with the ramps. It depends on how long the ramp is. But this thing, you just use your remote control and pull out those two safety things on the axles. On each side, that so rides on steel. You tilt up your uh, plate. These are magnetic. And they just come off. That helps oh, wow. me back up. See, so I can see the back of the trailer. Nice. Back and, and then you just flip these things, and then you just hit the down motion, and the whole thing just goes right to the bottom. Would you look at that? How cool is that? They really thought of everything, didn't they? Yeah. This was made by car guys, wasn't it? <laughs> what? It was made by car guys that understood. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. Whoever did this thing did a great job. And it's e tracks all the way around. So you got little e tracks that lock in there. I didn't notice that. I only noticed the. the, the I thought you'd put your uh, tie downs into these. No, they're e tracks and they got wow. hooks that come with it. So you, depending on your car and your situation, or if you had two, say you had two razors that you wanted to move. You know, off-road razors, yeah. and you could put them on here and just put your lock wherever you want. And the winch, recovery winch, also hooks in with the with the e tracks and it's remote control too. So you can, if you have a car that's dead, you know, on track day or whatever, you just pull it up and the e track But every that's just, this is all you need is about an inch of clearance on your car, and you're up on that trailer. If you don't have an inch of clearance, you probably can't even take it on the road, that's anyways, right? right? So. Maybe some low rider pickup truck, but uh, that would be, uh, this is a really cool vehicle to do, you know, pick stuff up. Chip, really Chip, we've done a lot of trailers for hauling motorcycles, and it's always, a, it, the E-Track is bolted on. I've never seen where they CNC machined a piece, a part of the trailer that had the E-Track built in. That's next level. I've never it's, seen that before. It's so cool. And uh, the spare tire actually doesn't hang the other thing I like about this is, you know wheels on trailers? You normally have a pin in them when you, when you put it on your hook and you, 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 you roll it up and you still got that wheel you got to deal with down there for ground clearance. This one hits this little mechanism here and the wheel folds up behind it. Wow. So you don't even have to pull a pin. Most guys don't even keep the wheel on because it's such a pain in the butt to put it on and off, right? Yeah, there's your recovery right there. And it's hooked in there, held in there by these tracks. So it's a, it's a pretty cool little trailer. Now let me show you something. We're talking about next level stuff. Watch this. Um, so this 
say you're outside, and you're, you're, you're gone for a couple days, you're tracking your car or whatnot, and I keep a battery charger on mine to keep the battery charged, but it also has LED. Oh, look at that. I mean, it has LED, a solar charger. So, it, it's really a really good color. What's this made out of? It? Is it? It's just some form of fiberglass or plastic or ABS. It's just to keep the. It looks stuff off your car. really lightweight. Do you know what it weighs? No, I don't. But I know behind my TRX, I can't feel it. But it's a it's a cool little trailer. It's the nicest tow behind. I always thought the Featherlight was the best. The Featherlight like this, but this is. not yeah. It is a very good trailer. They, they manufacture a great product, but I don't like dealing with ramps. And with this thing, I push a button and I have no ramps to deal with. I'm, I'm a huge Featherlight buff. I love Featherlight trailers, but the fit oh, and good. finish I had plenty. and the quality yeah. and, and the craftsmanship and the um, ingenuity on this is absolutely, no wonder they call it Futura trailers. It's like a tra the trailer of the future. Like they should all be made like this. If somebody had to have had a lot of cars sit down there and make a list of the perfect car trailer so far that I've found and I think this is it. It's kind of like you had a bunch of gearheads like you and I that had been hauling cars and motorcycles forever and they sat down over a few beers or a yeah. few sodas and a cigar and, and uh, dreamed up the trailer that solves every issue you'd ever possibly have. It's so simple too. There's not anything to go wrong. This whole trailer is lifted up by one of those nylon ropes, you know, like on a winch. It's just a winch underneath here, and it pulls this mechanism under there. It's got a gear, it's double geared, and it just lifts the trailer up. Absolutely it's spectacular. It's not really to go, it's not crazy over thought either. And the fenders come off if you want them off. But, uh, and they got LED lights in the fenders too, so you can see your width at night. If you're pulling at night, sometimes you can't see your fenders getting around a the sharp These give off just enough light so that you can see the corner. I call this kind of a trailer, what I call, I call this a generational trailer, what I, and, what, and that was coined for the Featherlight product originally, that was their marketing uh, spiel or ploy, whatever, but this trailer will outlast most human beings. I mean, it's all aluminum, so it's not going to rust. As long as you don't smash it, this thing will last pretty much forever. You don't have to get this long of a trailer, but I, I've had Chevelles, and I may have another one, you know, who knows, so I can put a Chevelle on this trailer. And again, with the uh, custom tag, I got K trailer on there. <laughs> what, what, um, how many foot long is it, Chip? I, I think this one's a 26 or 24. You know, you can never have two, you always need, you always have less room than you think you're going to need on a trailer. That's been my, my uh, there's always, you, okay, you want to bring the golf cart too, or you want to bring a motorcycle. With this, you could put a Jeep and a motorcycle on it. It's a, it's a great thing. Or you can get the shorter version if you, if you just don't want to do that. Flip these up to nice you. mag wheels. Yeah, they give you a lot of that you can order on these things. And see what I really like is these fast ones. You just push them down with your hands the same way the front operates. And it's really easy. They click and you push. Spectacular. Hey, thanks for sharing this with us, me, man. This is this sets a standard in my eyes at this point. I've never seen anything cooler than this for hauling cars. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. God bless America, American in ingenuity, and uh, the guys who built this trailer just absolutely next level. Thanks for watching.